Hey everybody, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. I remember that I meant to upgrade our blacksmith to get better weapons or better uh, armor smithing. Armor smithing is cheaper, but we can barely afford weapons. Oh, and it would take us even one level beyond. So you know what? We should probably do armor first. And maybe, oh, I thought we would have enough uh, left over to do that. But anyway, um, we have a chance to spend some money and actually upgrade our units. So let's put people in, in stress relief as is needed. Like, Kate definitely is going to need some stress relief. And uh, she won't pray and can't visit the brothel. What's her stress at? 60. So she should be more or less okay if we just send her to the tavern. And that's cheap. So I don't mind doing so. Oh, we can actually upgrade the number of bar slots, which I'm actually going to do right now because it's so cheap that I think this is probably in our best interest. So uh, we also just increase the stress recovery from it, which maybe I shouldn't have spent that extra on that, but whatever. Um, might as well spend something. And we, we can also upgrade uh, something that requires busts. Like, we have more than enough uh, crests, so why don't we use busts? Reduce treatment cost. We can't do it again. We only have nine busts left over. That might be uh, possible to upgrade the Abbey with. Now, the Abbey takes busts, but we don't uh, have enough. Oh, we can upgrade the Penance Hall, but I don't know if we need two slots of that. Who else needs some stress relief? Quill needs some stress relief. He can go pretty much anywhere. Let's throw him in here. It's the same cost. Uh, Malls needs some stress relief. We'll throw her in here. Is Bear back? He is, so we have a healer. We can roll a party like this. Me, Rob, Nick, and Bear. I think that would be an acceptable third level party. I might actually want to try that out. We could even put Mathis involved with it, but whatever. We don't need that guy. Let's uh, let's go to our either our guild. Let's see if we can actually upgrade anything here. What do we need to upgrade for our guild? Portraits. So we'll go back to the the Warrens probably for more portraits. But on our blacksmith, we want to have people actually hit level three. So oh my god, it's eighteen hundred. Jeez Louise. Still, it does give us increased speed. Uh, who else is going to be doing the most damage? Probably Rob. He's only going to be hitting level 2, right? That might be level 3 at this point. It also gives him increased speed. We can probably afford to upgrade one more person. And honestly, I think it should be Mathis, even if he doesn't come out on this mission. He should probably get some increased armor as well. Anyway, that's going to do it for now. Uh, and we'll embark on a mission, probably do a medium level 1, medium level 3. That's long. That's short. There's a medium level 3 mission. And we need the portraits as well. Alright, so... We're going to put us here, Nick, Bear, and then Rob in the middle position. We are sorely lacking stuns here. Do we have a move that pushes us back? No, okay. Yeah, we're sorely lacking stuns, but we'll have pretty good damage output. Bear doesn't have a stun, Nick does have a stun. Rob's got a decent damage output. Mathis does not have a stun. And he's part of the B team, so maybe we'll... Ah, uh, but Rob's part of the B team. I think we can afford to roll with this, basically. We got 4,000 gold to spend on a medium mission. Usually, like to take about, you know, 16 torches. Uh, about 16 food. And the rest of the money we'll spend on shovels, anti-venom, and bandages. And then we'll throw a little extra food on top, because we can. And maybe... Uh, we probably don't need more torches. I think that's probably good. You know what? We can get away with extra anti-venom and extra uh, bandages because the odds of us actually, you know, not needing those, like the odds of us overkill, going overkill in that regard are probably exceptionally low. Uh, so I think that this should be okay, but we do not necessarily have, like, my favorite damage dealer here. No offense, uh, Mint. I don't think it really matters which way we go. I think if we go this way, we might have like, we got the, like the same level of backtracking either way, but let's start here. 100% of room battles, maybe we'll get lucky and we won't have to uh, actually have room battles on this side and then this will just be the smartest decision I've ever made. Nick gets caught by a trap, resisted the bleed though. The sax contents are yours. Probably the best pickup line I've ever heard in my entire life. The sax contents are yours. What do you mean get away from me? Okay. No battle. That's an easy first room and we get some scouting. We could get to scout to the left as well. Oh, that is a huge scouting right there. So there will be a room battle over here for sure. Uh, we're going to have to backtrack anyway. We might as well just get our move on down here. 
And we can probably camp at like the intersection of where we're gonna start backtracking as just a guess. You know, we don't know if that's necessarily gonna be the most appropriate place to do it, but the sack gave us 25 gold. That's not so bad. We'll crack open another torch and uh, be on our merry way here. A blazing star is born. So we will uh, almost certainly have combat in our next room here. So it's been easy so far. That can change. Nick has good resistances, which is why I threw him in here. Why sure, he picked up another shovel. That is probably chest. overkill at this point. What do you think about Cow these things on the ground home. here? Pile of scrolls. What about you, Bear? You like these? The scrolls are merely records of dull transactions. Yo, Bear fucking loves... I shouldn't have walked on that. Bear fucking loves dull transactions. Don't even start with me about that guy. He keeps a very detailed ledger of things that uh, he purchases. I don't know if this is actually true. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, this is new. I'm very disappointed that all of that stress hit. Hulking Swine Tar. Basically cannot be stunned. So if we have picked to the face, we pretty much have to use it on Swine Reaver because I'm not going to go straight for the tank and we can't actually access this unit at the back yet. Nick will be able to stun the unit at the back, hopefully. They only have 45% stun resist. I guess that's not that bad. Wow. That's rough. Nick won't be able to use his stun now, I think. Bear uh, can hit the two units at the back. I think that's worth throwing out, even if it's not necessarily a super fantastic damage dealer. We only have Noxious Blast and Incision. Wow, this hulking swine tar. I have to imagine that he's going to be incredibly frustrating to deal with here. Bear is stunned as well. Good start. I almost thought about using Bulwark and Faith for extra torch potential, but sure, we did a little bit of damage there. I'd say we're worse for wear in this situation. Nick did land a Noxious Blast. That'll do six and six alone because of the um, unfortunate lack of uh, the Blight there. He resisted the debuff. Bear did, I, I mean. I appreciate that. A little bit of extra damage here. Hulking Swine Tar, eh, pretty much halfway done. Resisted the stun. I appreciate it. Bear is going to have to use his heal next turn. Trot retreat. So he keeps moving back and forth in, in position here. I understand it. At least this should allow us to take out the drummer on this turn. Good, 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 good. Pig spear, huh? Oh my fuck. I'm thinking, like, we might have to leave this mission. <laughs> oh, that would have been a great time for a crit. Um, Just go for the incision. His... Light resist is 95. We should have just gone for the physical damage. That's a huge play. Lower some stress. Bear, it's your turn, please. No, it's Rob's turn. Okay. He can actually use lunge, which is where I want him to be. Did some decent damage. And then Bear heal the shit out of Rob. Eight. That's, that's decent. Drums of Doom is so annoying. But we can camp, so stress relief is something that we can prioritize. I'm glad we got that kill. I thought about trying to get like a crit on the Swine Reaver, but this is probably a better option for us. Uh, we're, we're probably not going to be able to avoid this next attack coming out of him anyway. Bear heal yourself. Resisted the bleed. Healed for five. It's okay. Go for incision again. You might get lucky. Very close. And he got bled, so next time he won't get to attack again. Let's put it that way. Which is great because this has just been a fucking nightmare of a first encounter. Bear, you're going to heal... Uh, let's heal Rob again. That's relatively okay damage. Might as well just get the kill. We don't have any other heals coming out, so that's uh, that was nuts. Makeshift dining table. Let's try it. Everything has been eaten. Could have been worse, honestly, let's be honest. Um, that was a terrible encounter. I hope we never have to deal with those assholes again. If we do, we may end up very well running away from this mission. There's a trap. Get ready. This is uh, a Nick situation. He got trapped by it, but if he gets bled, that's fine. Uh, we can just bandage him up. Not looking so good from a stress department right now. Stashed heirlooms. Six crests. That's, that's not too bad. Uh, let's crank on this torch a little bit. Really want to surprise an enemy that we might end up encountering in here. Alright, this... Honestly, I think not only did we, we surprise them, which is great, but I think this is not so bad. We get a free turn, so I'm not going to heal on this turn, which might end up being a mistake, but if we can just kill a couple of enemies instead, I would love it. So let's try to get this guy with uh, just a normal attack here. 
And now Lunge uh, from Rob should be able to finish the job. But actually, we can get some roll of over damage. He missed. We're going to try for a, a straight up stun here. Please work. They both resisted the stun, which means they might get to go before me. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Just stressed out. Okay. Nick's going to go for a double stun again, even though with incision he could definitely get a kill. Good. Good. The stun worked that time. Uh, we have enough bandages to fight off this bleed. Rob hasn't gone yet, so yeah, we can stop his bleed before it even starts. And then just go for the straight-up kill on the unstunned unit, or the non-stunned unit. We'll go for... Uh, I don't think Zealous Accusation is likely to work, so... Let's just take out the Swine spawn, because we can get a kill. Ah, we might have been better off attacking Swine Reaver there, but... We're going to throw out a quick heal on Nick. He's a pretty valuable member of our party here. 4 HP is nothing to sneeze at. Ball and Chain is a stun that's really annoying, but luckily we dodged it. He must have, like, not a fantastic accuracy stat, which is great for me. We're going to throw out a heal on Rob here for 10. That is exactly what we wanted to see. Drums of Debilitation is a debuff, but no stress, I think. Yeah, it marks him, but he resisted the debuff. Would like to kill the debilitating unit first, if possible. I, I might have wanted to save that crit for our tankier unit, but that's okay. We're actually doing alright here. Nick's going to go for... What's your blight resist? 95? Yeah, we're going to go for incision then. I guess it didn't matter either way. Ball and chain. Bear gets stunned. That's frustrating. Because he is... Uh, we, we'd like to have him healing every turn, basically. Might be able to get the kill here. I'm a little skeptical of our chances. Oh, never mind. Now I'm pretty excited about it. We did de-stress a little bit there. That's pretty good. Bear doesn't get to go. Uh, they get to go first? Come on now. Bear resisted the stun at least. And that's the end. Man, that crit could have been more useful earlier, but I'll take it. Truth prevails. Lots of stuff. Bleed charm. Lower crit, but great bleed resistance. Good bleed resistance anyway. Uh, what is this? Sacrificial stone. I want Bear to look at it in case he gets buffed somehow. Oh, the hero is deeply disturbed. 50 stress. That's not good, in case you were wondering. There is a room battle down here. Um, I, we're actually, this is the most strategy I think I've ever used in this game. Just make it so Bear doesn't get hit by a trap. We're going to backtrack because we want to avoid, avoid this encounter right here. So we're going to backtrack to like this room. And we may even camp in that room while we have a surplus of food. You can only camp once, so it's a little bit dangerous, but we're also in a pretty dangerous position. And I'm assuming we probably only have two more room encounters. This might be the big one, too, so I don't I don't hate the idea of this. So this is Nick. Nice, well done. And uh, there shouldn't be an encounter in here, but we'll crank up the light just in case. Are we going to camp right now? I, our inventory's full. It might not be the worst idea. So let's camp it out. All right, we're going to eat eight food. Recover a decent amount of HP. And we're going to focus primarily on wound care. Bear did not have a disease removed, but that's okay. Bear needs the healing, let's be honest here. Um, nobody else is really that concerned. We, we can also spend some time giving him stress relief. He doesn't seem so bad now. And we'll have like six respite left? Five, okay. Um, let's give all of our units stress resist. Gallo's humor is is kind of a risk. Ah, let's give it. All right, Nick got a little bit more stressed out. Everybody else did okay. Please don't get ambushed. Please don't get ambushed. We did not get ambushed. Okay, so I am expecting uh, an encounter next. I ate a little bit of food with Nick just to make me feel a little bit more confident about the situation. Good disarm. That's what happens after a good night's sleep, man. Whistles. I mean, it shouldn't be trapped. It contains loot. I'll be keeping this for myself. Oh, okay. Sure. That seems fair. It's not like we needed it anyway. As the I think. Alright, yeah, this is what I was worried about, right? Is the, I, I am surprised. Large Corpse Eater. It's resistant to fucking everything. 
What do you think we go for here? Right? We let's knock out the corpse eater. If all other things are equal, he's at the front. Um I mean, we might as well go for a heal. Resisted the bleed, got healed for zero. Waste of a turn, but let's just assume we would have missed anyway. Oh, he debuffs. Weakened prey. Marked and debuffed for lower damage and lower accuracy. That's a lot lower damage, actually. I hope it only debuffs them for like a couple of turns. Pig Spear is very dangerous. 10 damage to Rob sucks there. Yeah, yeah, your wounds are mounting, dog. You're not wrong. It has 95 stun resist at the back. It's got huge blight resist. Incision is not very good, and it missed. Okay. Uh, it's a poor, poor end of that turn. He resisted the bleed, got healed for four. We need Rob to be able to do damage, because he's the only unit that can consistently hit the unit at the back. You know, it's a 5% chance of hitting, so I think we do still go for Plague Grenade. Because if it actually does blight, it does something at least. Ah, they resist. Maybe we ins we maybe we use incision on the hulking sweat tar or swine tar. Um, yeah, Rob's in a rough position here. There's no question about that. We can't use holy lance, unfortunately. So we just basically are kind of stuck using um, this move here. So we really want Rob to not be weakened. Good. This is perfect actually, because now we can take out the corpse eater on this turn. Okay. And he just keeps weakening Rob. Look, if you make Rob useless. It's not that bad. That will put him on death's door, though. And Burst Nick on death's door. That's very bad. Pr stress is going to start mounting here. I knew this was going to be hard, but this I'm so glad I camped before this. Before this. Okay. Nick is going to throw out the blinding gas, I guess. Ah, whatever. Try to hit this unit at the front. I can't believe this motherfucker moved again. Incision. It's, it's doing shit damage, but it's doing something. Uh, heal Nick. He resisted the bleed, got healed for seven. He needs it more than Rob, because if Rob dies, he's already kind of useless. No offense, Rob. This encounter is not going well. I, I almost want to move my Crusader back and put Rob at the front. He, I, healing for one is enough to take him off death's door, man. Tentacle Devour. Yeah, that seemed bad. As life ebbs. This stress is going to mount pretty hard. Crunching backhand. Move me back one. Move me back, bro. Okay, he didn't. We're so close to an actual kill here. Come on. 85. Finally. I now have hope that we can make it through this mission. Rob's debuffs are gone, actually. He's okay now. I don't think you can eat food on your turn, by the way. I think you need to heal with something else, so. He did heal for six. Hopefully not everybody gets knocked down to death's door this time, because that is going to be difficult to deal with. Um, it would be really nice if Nick critted here. It would be really nice if I hit, at least, then. We got lucky with the bleed. Crunching backhand could be worse. We dodged it anyway. Thank God he didn't use pig spear again. Nice. Good damage. Last battle? Not the last battle. Okay. Unlocked strong box. Contents are yours. Thank God. Bear, you're going to eat. Rob, you're going to eat. And then we're going to move. And we're going to have to worry about starvation. But we don't have very many rooms left on this... Oh, wait, I went into the wrong door. We don't have very many rooms left on this mission, uh, on this dungeon. The stress is already something we're going to have to deal with, right? There's not that much I can do about it. Um, can we get through one more encounter like the one we just had? Probably not. But I don't think we'll have one more encounter like the one we just had, to be honest with you. Ignore that. No, use it. Use it. Okay. That's fine. It is a very frightening position to be in. I'm not going to lie about that. I don't think we have combat in this room. Please don't touch those infected corpses. Hunger. If we get one more hunger, we're fucked. One more stress, I should say. This is why you bring shovels. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Lots of torches, so I'm actually going to burn two to put us at, like... Well, I probably should have just burned one now that I looked that we got... Uh, 
less when we left here. Um, or we had less light when we left here. There's another room with treasure. I almost worry that it's going to be exactly the same room that we just had. We're very lucky that we still have something to deal with status effects, especially blight. Glittering we can take everything, which surprised me. Paid for Should be no combat here. It's a very tense mission, though. Oh, there is combat here. We did surprise them. That is an enormous thing for us right now. Get that swine. I have to think about it, all right? We should probably go for the cultist gladiator instead. Because uh, we can hit him with our crusader, whereas we can't hit swine spawn. Wow. All right, Rob. Why do I even bother? The salt is real. The guy I wanted to get stunned did not get stunned. I'm going to have Bear heal himself. 12 is great. We're going to go for the kill on the... You know what? I think we can actually... I know you're not supposed to focus the tank, but what if we crit? <laughs> or what if we... Nah, we're better off. We're better off this way. Seven damage wouldn't have meant shit to the, to the swine uh, reaver. Ren for the old gods is bleed. We have a bandage. He resisted anyway. Butcher cut is going to hurt. He's going to need to be healed. And his stress is going to become a real problem. We're really going to hope for a heal from Bear. Nice! A heal from Bear that's high enough uh, that Nick will be fine. Drums of Doom could kill him. Death's Door. Lucky. Stress, though. This is not going to be our last combat, by the way. Uh, we'll try for the stun. 45% resist. He's stunned. That's good. Even though he went on, the, on this turn, I'm still happy with that. Swine spawn. We will be able to kill on this turn. Bear's got to heal Nick. Good heal. Good heal. Six. Good enough that a simple attack won't put him on death's door and cause stress in him again. Vomit is stress, but Rob is fairly resilient to that. He's got a, a nice little buffer left. Bear's going to heal him. For one. That's not good. Butcher cut will put him on death's door. If only you had healed him for a little bit more. So the stress is really mounting. Wow. Um, I'll take the gold. Wow. That's extremely unfortunate. Did he get bled? Is that what did it? It's unlikely, but it, it can happen. Swine spawn is dead. I still think we can do the mission, even without Rob. It sucks to lose someone at level 3, though. Stress is mounting. As much as I want to use Bear to deal damage now because we lost a DPS character, I don't know if we can. Like, his his usefulness is probably more so on the healing side of things. He might get stunned anyway. He resisted the stun, thankfully. Oh, that would have been great if it actually, like, you know, landed. Let's have Bear go for the kill on this one. We can afford to. They've only got one person doing damage. Butcher Cut hurts, man. Now Bear can heal forever. We don't have stuns that we can throw out on this guy, but... You know, we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, I think, and be fine. That is unfortunate. Oh, I should have bandaged the shit out of him. Yeah, he's gonna bleed three damage per round. Holy shit. We just bled him again for four now. Oh, no. If he gets bled one more time. That's five damage, seven damage per round. Holy fuck. Unwound. Luckily we bandaged the shit out of him, but my god. Oh. Just get through this one. Good heal, good heal. Twelve. As good as it gets, basically. Butcher cut. Resisted the bleed, thankfully, because that might have added two or three. These guys are nightmares, man. He resisted the bleed, which is not surprising. And... Just go for the heal. Seven heal is fine, even if he gets to go. Which he doesn't. And we finish the job. Holy crap! This expedition you can't take the gold. Success. I think we'll get rid of the medicinal herbs. Take this. What is this? Sacrificial stone. 
The hero is deeply... Deeply disturbed. We got 3,125 gold. We, we, I gotta leave. Part of... Part of Darkest Dungeon is knowing when you've lost. But not the end of things. We got a decent amount of gold anyway. Enough gold to cover our stress relief. Obviously we lost Rob. That's a big problem. I'm not happy about that. He was a good soldier, sort of. Uh, we'll only visit the brothel. That's not good. That might be sanitarium worthy. Obsessed with killing. I kind of like that. Quick reflexes for better speed is great too. May not meditate and better stress resist in this area. So we come back with one less unit. I was lord oh. of this place. We'll only meditate for stress for relief malls. That's that kind of sucks as well. Ah, uh, it was really like we sucked on that run, but it was also Rob with some bad luck. You gotta admit. With twelve busts, can we upgrade? Uh, we're trying to upgrade the tavern again. No, those are portraits. Sanitarium? Is that what we were trying to upgrade? Or sorry, the Abbey. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, increased stress recovery from praying seems really useful. 5,710. Why do we only have 5,710 gold? I thought we, we had said we got 6,200 from the mission alone. Maybe it costs us a little bit of money to upgrade? I don't know. We need to take another unit. And unfortunately, they're all DPS. But I guess if we need anything out of all of these, like another Crusader wouldn't be the worst. So we'll throw him in there. Um, that's going to do it for this episode. That was a tough one. I'm not sure what we'll do in the next episode, but we'll take a look and then we'll come back. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.